right everybody, today we're going to make some Nashville hot chicken marinade. This is going to be a, a beautiful buttermilk chicken, going to be red hot and spicy. We've got one liter here, one liter of buttermilk sauce, might have to do two. Let's wait and see what she does. Now we're going to add for sure one teaspoon maybe two teaspoons black pepper love that black pepper now I've got paprika hot Hungarian paprika this stuff is amazing but she's spicy you gotta watch out for her. now I'm putting I'm putting three tablespoons in there because I like it really hot and the paprika I really like paprika so I'm going heavy with that nice little secret weapon Big Green Egg has come out with cayenne pepper hot sauce. So you better believe I am on that. Ooh, it's good. It is good. And we're gonna put we're gonna put at least a cup. At least a cup of that in there. I'm gonna put the whole dang thing. You know what? That's it. I absolutely love hot sauce and hot pepper. I absolutely love it. I'm so pumped about this. <coughs> Whisk. Now I'm putting this right in the right in the brining container. Then I'm going to pick my chicken. I've got uh, drumsticks and thighs today. Drumsticks and thighs. We're going to do up this marinade's going to we're going we're going to soak it in this beautiful beautiful marinade for. Well, 24 hours. I would love to do 24 hours. Then we're gonna pull it out, dredge it, double dredge it, and then we're getting down to business. Nashville hot chicken, everybody. I hope you're pumped. This is gonna be. Oh, that's great. That is absolutely great. Oh, I almost forgot. I have actually a little secret weapon. Also, like to put in one cup. Pickle juice. I do love that pickle juice. Adds that extra little dimension to the flavor, let me tell you. It gets right into the meat too, I find. Cuts right into it. Gives it that special little something. I also like to serve my chicken with pickles. Now, let's take a peek and see how many of these chickens like I said, I got drumsticks and thighs. Make room for both. Now we're not feeding an army. We are feeding family. Probably a few fellas from work are gonna want some of this too. Oh, look at the flaps on that skin. Oh, does that ever make me happy. I love a good flappy skin chicken, you know why? Those flaps turn into beautiful, crispy, tasty morsels of goodness. Oh! If I could order a bucket of skin, I would order, well, I would order a bucket of skin. Definitely. My favorite kind. This is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be a lot of chicken people. But that's okay. Perfect. Drumsticks, thighs. Ooh. And there you have it. Now well, she's ready for the long soak, people. 24 hours she's going down for before we get back to work. There's your buttermilk chicken brine. We'll see you guys in a bit.
Nashville hot chicken. It's coming. Oh, yeah. All right, as the chicken comes out of the Dutch oven, we're going to go ahead and put it on a cooling rack into another warm egg or your oven, whatever you can do. Keep it at a temperature of about 200, 210 degrees. And as we do that, we're going to cook up a pot of lard. We're going to cook lard with cayenne pepper, some hot Hungarian paprika or whatever kind of paprika you got. I put even a little splash of maple syrup in there. Why not? Why not? Uh, check the description for the exact recipe for this sauce that we're going to paint our Nashville hot chicken with, but understand she's deadly and she's hot. So as she's sitting on that cooling tray in that warm oven, we're going to paint each piece individually, top and then bottom, flipping it over. And then we're going to let her sit there for a couple minutes before we pull it out and serve it. And obviously you can see it's deadly. Deadly chicken. Nashville hot chicken just come out of the big green egg. You're thinking, what? You deep frying in the big green egg? Guess what? I did it. It's done. Look at this bad boy. Y'all paying attention. Oh, come on, you bugger. Look at that Nashville hot chicken. You know what's better than the best chicken in your life? The best chicken in your life you cooked yourself. It's so good. It's, it's so good. I, I want to eat. I want to eat. Pales it like it's hot. It's hot. I'm going to drink some milk after this, but it is so good. You know what's important about cooking your own meals? Cooking your own snacks for your friends, Super Bowl parties and everything? Is that your heart and soul goes into it and you're passionate about it. I am passionate about this chicken. This deadly chicken. It's so hot, but so good. This is a solid win for me right here. Thanks for following along, everybody. Nashville hot chicken on the big green egg. That's what's up.